Uh, Hazur, this is based on the verse of Surah Ashura. Yes. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan ar-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa min ayatihi khalqus samawati wal ardi wa ma batha fihi ma min dabba wa huwa ala jam'ihim idha yasha'u qadir wa ma asabakum min musibatin fabima kasabat aydikum wa ya'fu an kathir So these are two verses from Surah Shura which is chapter number 42 and verses number 30 and 31 Translation is and among his signs is the creation of the heavens and the earth and of whatever living uh, creatures he has spread forth in both and he has the power to gather them together when he pleases and whatever misfortune befalls you is due to what your to what your own hands have wrought and he forgives many of your sins the question is as well that this con verse contains the prophecy that uh, Allah will inshallah one day um, bring mankind and extraterrestrial life together in some form. But the following verse seems to be speaking of misfortune which will befall us. So does this meeting actually have some kind of a, a misfortune which could be in store for us to, through this? The following verse has no connection in this way with this previous one. The previous, the, the, verse, the, the first verse quoted uh, indicates that uh, there are animals which walk or creep along the land, including man. So definitely in the heavens there are some creatures, not the flying creatures, it's not mentioned here but those who move on their limbs on the uh, creep along the land which are called Dabba according to Arabic and they have to be also men because they cannot meet each other without high superior intelligence so in this way a prophecy has been made that human life like or animal and human life is also spread in the heavens. Now it is impossible for Rasulullah to think during that age of heavens as capable of supporting animal life because they're going to the concept then of heaven Heaven was just uh, globes, plastic like globes, in which stars were studied. So this definitely shows that an all-knowing God, Allah explained, uh, informed Rasulullah of what was happening. As far as the second part is concerned, that may have some connection in the sense that uh, people who would be so much advanced in their sciences as to go out to heaven and meet each other, many misfortunes may befall them despite this advanced science. And uh, that's, that much is true, that it was done because of their own mistakes the misfortune will not be forced upon them by Allah. Allah Huzur. I think there is some sweet meat to be distributed now to you. There is only time left for that. Eh? So we will make two cycles complete. Eh? MashaAllah. Make your choices. Thank you. Thank you. And pass it on. Pass it from there. You you distribute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ja. Spoilt for choice. yourself and give it to someone else over there and now you can start eating if you like or carry it home very little time is left eh? yes. we shall we proceed for the prayer directly to the prayer or one question more oh, good, all right <laughs> de Grande-Bretagne ce mois-ci, bon nombre de gens, de jeunes actifs à présent pour apprendre la langue arabe. Quelle est la possibilité que cette langue deviendra bientôt la lingua franca dans le monde de l'islam ahmadi um, In the recent Ijtima Khudam al ahmadiyya in Great Britain, uh, quite a number of, of uh, Khudam were motivated to, to uh, learn the Arabic language. What is the possibility that the Arabic language could become a kind of a lingua franca in the, Ahmad, in the world of Ahmadiyyat? Later on, yes, it will. Because it's the language of the Holy Quran. So, sometime later, inshallah, it will become the first language of the world. And uh, Urdu is going to be the second language of the world, I think. But these things happen slowly, gradually, and they take their time. Languages to spread is not an easy job. So English may continue to remain as a third language or along with them, it may remain together with them. So Allah knows better. But these are the ways of the world, of, of, of Allah we already noticed. The language spreads slowly and slowly. Alors, je vous dis que plus tard, je crois que si, cela deviendra une espèce de lingua franca, euh, car c'est la langue du Saint-Coran, et donc cela va certainement être une langue très utilisée. Cela sera peut-être même la première langue dans l'Ahmadiyya. L'Urdu sera peut-être la seconde. Mais je crois que ces choses prennent leur temps, et les langues prennent beaucoup de temps pour se répandre dans le monde. L'anglais restera peut-être comme une, une langue au, au même titre que ces deux-là, avec, les, avec elle, ou peut-être deviendra la troisième langue. Donc on ne le sait pas vraiment, car ces choses requièrent beaucoup de temps pour se développer. Les langues prennent beaucoup de temps pour se développer. Right? Exactement.